G'day everyone, Audi Triple Five here. In today's video, the good folks at Auchi have sent me this to install on my bike. This right here is a game changer for the CF Moto 450 MT. It is an Android based navigation system. And it's also got the option of offline maps built into it as well. And to top it off, it's got a camera so you can install that on the front of your bike or the rear so that way you've got a crash cam on your motorcycle. So in this video I'm going to be installing it on the, the CF Moto 450 MT but first off let's do the unboxing. It is a really good system to have on a motorcycle. It comes with a user manual, the display and you'll notice straight away that these tapered edges look remarkably similar to the display on the 450 MT. It's got a camera, it's got a remote button, it's got the power harness, it's got a GPS antenna for your maps, both offline and online. It comes with this awesome mounting kit here with all of these brackets, very similar to a RAM mount. It's got some tools and some cable tires and a clamp in there, and it's got this three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So this is the screen. Check this out. Look at it compared to the original CF Moto 450 MT screen. So it's got a very similar shape to it. Now you'll notice up here I've put an adapter on my 12 millimeter bar to increase the thickness to 22 millimeters. So this part here is not a stock feature or a feature that comes with the uh, navigation unit. But just in case it intrigues you, this here is a hollow tube, much like this. This is actually a first prototype where I just made it an inch long. Um, and it just slides on top of the metal bar that's in there and then it all installs. So I'm gonna be mounting this, which is the bracket that comes with it. And you can see here, it's got some padding in there but it's too small to mount on the 12 millimeter bar that is stock on the CF Moto 450. So if you are mounting it up on this rail, you'll need to make an adapter or get one uh, to install on there. So this is the mount that comes with it. It is a three piece mount and it screws on the back of the unit and enables you to sit that up or down wherever you, you would like to put it. So it's quite, quite maneuverable. So these nuts just come out. They even give you this lovely rubber grip which just goes around the bar so that way when you when you have it all screwed together it doesn't slip around which is nice. So that's really simple to mount, it's not going anywhere, it's going to hold it nice and I'll just need to put the unit on this. So these screws just mount in the back there and attach this part and they've also included the correct size allen key in the kit which is nice. I have to say, these mounts are really good quality. The whole unit seems to be really good quality, actually. All right, so I've just mounted that on there. Obviously, nothing's wired up. Nothing's really done other than just doing the mount. But as you can see straight away, it gives you so much flexibility with that mount to be able to adjust it wherever you, you would like it. So you can put it down here, you can put it up there. Uh, you can pop it up here. All right, so I've got this installed now. Now let's try and get all of these wires connected. Now the handy thing is, is the wires are split in two parts. So you can install all of the ugly parts somewhere and then get all of the cables that come out of the unit and tuck them away discreetly so that it, it just looks seamless and neat. This here is the power cable. It is really long. It's like two meters long in total which is great because this is the end here that goes to the navigation unit. It's just one wire. And then this part can go somewhere else in the bike. So this has actually got a uh, negative and a positive plus an ignition uh, line on there as well. So that way it will turn on and off with your ignition if you wired it up correctly. You may not know this, but on the CF Moto 450 MT, there are two 12 volt accessory ports just sitting there waiting for you to plug something in such as this and both of them are keyed to the ignition so they will switch on and off when you cycle the power with the key. A lot of modern bikes are coming out with this feature which is brilliant but if you don't have that feature it's not a big deal breaker. Essentially you just connect your negative and positive to your battery terminals and then the ignition wire to something that turns on when the ignition is on, such as a rear brake light or an accessory port that you may already have on there for heated grips 
or something like that from the factory. Now, because this cable is so long, I'm gonna take the easy option and route this through to connect the power from the accessory port, which is under the seat on the 450 MT. Now, it's a negative and positive terminal, but that is also switched to the ignition. So I've got to trick this to think that it's connected to the ignition as well. So essentially, the black will go to my negative port and the yellow and red will both be wired to the positive. Another handy thing to work out where to route the cables is, is you look at where your cables already go. You're gonna have electric cables running to your handlebars for all your switchology, and they're gonna be ported through and routed in the most optimal way. And you just copy that design with where you put your cable. So all the 450MT owners out there that didn't know this, these two green cylinder things are your under seat accessory port, which provides your 12 volt power. You have a look, the red wire is your positive and the green is the negative. And the power is switched to your ignition, so you don't need to bother about a relay. It's always handy to check things. So I've connected my multimeter to the ports there. So I'm just turning the ignition on now and you can see it's firing up. It's providing 12 volts out of that, which is perfect. There is also another port in the front of the 450 MT underneath the fairings, which does the same stuff. But I'm not gonna connect it to that because one day I wanna use that for some heated grips on the bike. So I'm just leaving that free for now. All right, I've done a really dodgy wiring job. I've essentially just pushed these terminals into those connectors. This is purely a temporary fix just for now. I wouldn't ride like this. This is just to make sure everything's wired up. I, I, I need to go to the shop to get the proper connectors to connect to that and then it'll make my life easy. But for now, this will do and as long as not, they don't fall out and touch each other, I'm not gonna short circuit anything. So don't stress, not a permanent solution, just temporary for installation purposes only. Now the hard part is getting this wire up to the front. So to do that, I have to take off the side fairing to be able to make sure I wire this in correctly uh, without it falling out. So the, I will be doing that, but just to make sure everything is working, I'm gonna connect this up straight to the unit with the wire over the top of everything on the outside. So I've just temporarily connected up the GPS antenna, the button, the camera, and the power. All to this, just put it on the outside for testing purposes only. Obviously you wouldn't ride with it draped over the top. This is just to make sure everything works before I start taking off panels to install everything inside it. So when I turn this on, the unit will turn on. How cool is that? It didn't take long to boot up, maybe like 30 seconds. So it seems pretty cool. I haven't paired it to my phone or anything, but you can see you've, you've still got functionality where you can open up the navigation and bring up Google Maps. And if you've downloaded maps previously, it will keep them in its memory, which is great for, for when you're riding around and maybe your phone's gone flat. You can still use this without your phone. And even the camera's working. All right, so this is the first part of the video done. It's just a quick unboxing and showing you what this looks like on the bike. The next part is going to be the actual installation. And then the third part is going to be the review. So stick around for all of that and I'll get them out there so that you can enjoy them. And thanks again to Aouchi for sending me out this product. And I'm really looking forward to testing it out on the bike on the trails. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Laters.